fall, I have to admit, is one of my favorite seasons of the year because this is the time of year when herb gardeners like myself have the big payoff, which is harvesting herbs. And we get to bring all that fragrant, abundant leaves and stems and flowers into our house. Part of the reason to bring them in, of course, is either to use them fresh, but most people also like to have uh, a lot of the herbs dried and available to use through the winter and into spring, especially those that won't survive, annuals that won't survive out in the spring. So there are three methods to do that. One is what I call the traditional method. Most people have, when they think of drying herbs, they think in terms of getting a, a clump of herbs like this. This is rosemary, which uh, has been recently clipped, and then tie it together and hang it up to dry. Now, when you tie it up, please use a rubber band, not a piece of string, because the rubber band will shrink as the leaves start to dry and you won't discover that half of your harvest has fallen on the floor. And then all you need to do is take a piece of string, this time, connect it either through here or on to the rubber band so you can hang it up and then allow it to dry for the period it needs. Well, that's a very common method, but that's not the one that I really like. It's not good in my mind for long-term storage and actually I've done some reading into history and I think people more likely would be laying them on a flat surface. And this is the second method I sometimes use, which is this high-tech towel. These were picked from my garden and I would just lay them flat on the towel and then uh, let them just dry on their own. And if you have to move it, because things unexpected happens, all you have to do is roll it up and it's out of the way. There is one other method that I use, which I, frankly, I think probably 90% of the time that's what I do, is I take the leaves off the stems for the larger ones, or I just put the stem and leaves all together in a bowl to just let them dry. This is basil. This came right off a plant of mine this morning. All I have to do in this case is just take my hands, pull off the leaves from the stems. I could leave them on the stem, but remember the, whole, the life cycle of the plant and the whole purpose of a stem is to provide uh, moisture, sap to the leaves. So the quicker you get it off of there, uh, the quicker it's going to be for the leaves that you want to dry and, the, and they will just stay in this uh, bowl and dry whole. A few herbs really are more difficult to dry if, if you're trying to pull them off while the leaves are fresh. Usually small herbs like um, in this case this is sweet marjoram I have here. I put this in a bowl a week ago just let it set and it's now ready to dry. You can feel it and you feel that the leaves are crackly. This is something I actually will oftentimes do while sitting in front of the TV when we're watching a movie or something and I have a bowl in my hand of dried herbs and then you can just move your fingers down the stems and the dried herbs just come right off. Then you put it in an airtight container. The last thing I do is include a piece of paper in there saying not only what it is, because some herbs when they're dry look alike, but also the month and year that they were harvested. For Backyard Basics, this is Anne McCormick, the Herb and Cowgirl. Mm -hmm.